Hogwarts Legacy. The only game that if you play it in real life, you also die in real life. I've never seen a game release that's created so much like polarizing, like division and, and chaos and violence and... Oh wait, yeah, actually, I, I have seen it. From the actual Harry Potter movie itself. Playing Hogwarts Legacy Online puts you in the center of an all-out war between several factions that I'll talk about in a minute. But for now, let me show you one of the most recent victims from this game's drama. <laughs> and harassment, and doxing, and people doxing my friends, and like, so much. <gasps> Horrible, vile things, all of them streaming a f***ing video game. <laughs> it's just insane. Like, <laughs> hate breeds hate and it doesn't help anyone. <laughs> and I don't know, I, I got to the point where I was, I was sick of seeing hatred all over and guilt tripping on random art tweets. It's literally like they gang up on so many random tweets about Valentine's Day or art or automated posts. Like they, they want to post so much negativity everywhere and I just got sick of it. So I block people. <laughs> Because I just wanted breathing room. In case you guys don't know, that's Silvervale. She's a VTuber with V Shoujo, and she was trending all day yesterday with that clip, and therefore it sparked an all out war. You have the people who hate and bully people like Silvervale for supporting said JK Rowling game. And then you have the second group of people who hate the group of people who hate. <laughs> and bully the group of people who play said JK Rowling game. Did these people not watch Naruto, okay? <laughs> Did they not watch the speech that was done by Payne where he talked about the freaking cycle of hatred? And I don't even know if you guys knew this, but she wasn't the only VTuber that got bullied off the internet <laughs> for playing Hogwarts Legacy. There was another VTuber, her name is uh, Pikami. She didn't even get to play the actual game. I believe she made some tweet talking about explaining how she might want to play the game, like being like, hey, I'm interested in this game. And then, <laughs> <laughs> the internet got so mad at her that she got harassed into infinity and then she just, you know, was like, okay, I'm sorry for expressing interest in this game. I'm going to leave now because the harassment got too real. Come to find out, this trend that's happening with Hogwarts Legacy does not end with just this game. A new game is coming out tomorrow called Atomic Heart. It's basically a science fiction first person shooter version of the former Soviet Union where you get to play a secret agent from this alternate future. I've actually never heard about this game until people started talking about boycotting it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the boycotting of the game is giving these games more marketing than the actual game itself. But for this game, I think people are boycotting it because the roots are tied to like Russian history and the Soviet Union. It kind of glorifies the KGB and people feel like buying the game supports Russian ideals, despite you guys know the war that's currently happening between them and Ukraine right now. Someone made a video that went viral called Please Don't Buy Atomic Heart. It has 2 million views and it has 170,000 dislikes compared to 50,000 likes. For this person, Person is trying to tell everyone not to buy this game and not to support it because of its ties with Russia. And the common pattern that I see with all of these things and all these events is that there are armchair activists that are out there telling you that you should not play a game and that if you do, we, the community, will come in and make your life a living hell. And if you play Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy game, you're transphobic. Or or if you play this freaking Atomic Hearts game, well then you support Russia and you hate Ukraine. And in my opinion, I think these boycotts and these trends are only going to get worse and worse because people are seeing that it has effects. You see, when it comes to like trolls and people in the community, if they can make someone cry on the internet by going online and bullying them, then people will do it more and more in spades. It's one of the laws of the internet is that if you give it a reaction, it will continue to do said action. Truthfully, I'm annoyed because I'm an ally for all of these communities and I feel like all of these actions and behaviors are actually counterproductive to why these organizations banned in the first place. Bullying a big titty VTuber into crying doesn't help anyone's cause. To me, all this does is dilute and drown the actual real issues that a lot of these organizations are trying to push and instead just, you know, surrounded with just hatred and bullying. Like that becomes the main topic headline every single time. I don't know if you guys knew this, but a few weeks back on my stream on Twitch, I had a genuine talk with two members members of the trans community and how they felt about Hogwarts legacy and the drama surrounding it. I learned a few things, but most importantly, I understood their point of view. I understood the battle that they were facing and I understood how normal people can be an ally. What are some charities that can be donated to? What are the organizations that can be trusted? It was a, a productive conversation. Guys, look. <laughs> I don't think people on Twitter want to be productive, homie. I mean, we all know the answer to that. I think they just want to fight 
and they just want to be mean. They don't care who gets in the way. Okay, I think a lot of these people on Twitter, man, they come out here on these streets to be evil so that they can validate their own existence. Hurt people, hurt people. And they come out here sad and depressed, logging onto this freaking Twitter platform and say, ooh, I have an opportunity to jump on a bandwagon to hurt someone. And then maybe this hate mob that I jump on gets my tweets to get a thousand likes. And holy crap, now my existence is validated because I hurt someone else or I hated someone else or I jumped on this this mob train. <laughs> and literally as the person who looks at Twitter all freaking day to talk to you guys about the news, I don't think this trend is going to stop anytime soon. In fact, I only think it's going to continue to get worse and worse. Now, thankfully, we have a platform here where you, we can come out of it <laughs> and talk about it. We can joke about it. We can laugh about it. I can inform you guys about the ideas and have more productive talks. But I think there's going to be more people. But to play devil's advocate, okay? Because you guys know I love playing devil's advocate, okay? Silvervale and Pick Me and all these people know that if they come out <laughs> and talk about playing Hogwarts Legacy or if they go on stream and start playing Hogwarts Legacy, they know <laughs> at this point that they will be assaulted and harassed. Period, okay? That's what's going to happen because that's just the state of things and you have to have to accept it. Is it fair? No, but you know it's going to happen, right? So if you do plan on playing this game at this point in time, then you know it's coming, right? <laughs> The trolls and the harassment is going to come, right? It's, it's not going to be a surprise. So I, I don't quite understand why someone would put themselves willingly in that situation if they can't handle the heat. You got people like I'm Dante and XQC and Moist Critical and all these other people who just stream the game. They were like, hey, look, I don't support transphobia. I don't support JK Rowling, but I'm going to play this game and we'll just go from there. Like, <laughs> And yeah, I wouldn't put it past certain people going online, trying to get sympathy points by playing this game and then crying about it, knowing that the, the damage is there. It's like going online and then touching the fire and be like, ah, I got burnt. <laughs> But you knew goddamn well, like the fire was going to be there. Okay. You've been watching everyone getting their hand burnt by putting it in the freaking lava. And you was like, mm, I guess I'll just do the same. And <laughs> there's plenty of people who are trying to profit off sympathy points. I don't know who, but there are people doing that. There are a lot of people who are trying to take advantage of the situation from all sides here. You know, whether it's their own cloud, or whether it's their own platform, or whether it's to make money for validation. Who knows, man? Cloud is a freaking hell of a drug, but you guys know what goes down. But yeah, those are my thoughts for people who are like actually activists and want to kind of make a change to the communities. I do not think that bullying and harassing people into uh, crying <laughs> is it. It's not going to work. Ever. Okay. It's only going to make things look worse. And, and, and I do feel like people need to stop trying to make enemies out of people who are not the enemy. Okay. JK Rowling, if you don't, if you think that she's the bad person, then go after her. Okay. Do not hit the, the little Timmy and Tommy who grew up watching Harry Potter and just wants to be, you know, Slytherin and do Aveda Kedavra and then just gets boinked off the internet and is like, wow, there's a hateful group of people out there who hate me for just playing a freaking video game. It's, it's not doing what people think that they are doing. But again, I'm, I'm also starting to feel like there's a group of people out there who don't care. <laughs> they don't care that they're creating enemies and they actually don't care about pushing out the agenda and the ideals and sharing the information with people. They're done with being productive. They just want, you know, the smoke, which sucks because there is true good information out there that can be shared that can be productive. But uh, yeah. But yeah, let me know how you guys feel about the Silver Rail situation and, and Hogwarts legacy. This becoming a trend with the new game that's coming out for Russia as well. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay. All right. Peace.